Known for his performances in Monk, Wings, and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Tony Shalhoub is now starring in a new film called Flame and Hot about the man, the myth, the legend, Richard Montañez, who channeled his upbringing and says that he turned the iconic Flame and Hot Cheeto snack into a global phenomenon. Let's take a look. We all write our own stories. Where is Richard? I'd like to speak to him. I'm here. This time. That's me, the Mero Mero, Mr. Richard Montañez. I'm the guy who helped bring the world the most popular snack it's ever seen. Are you ready? I will. I've been ready. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having this, me. This looks like a fun one. Okay, so you play Roger, who challenges Richard's ideas here. What attracted you to this role? Oh, well, um, you know, it's it's really kind of a um, you know a guy who starts out uh, from very modest beginnings, makes good, very persistent. Um, it's a sort of an immigrant story. You know, this is a this character of Richard Montañez is a Mexican from a, a Mexican community in California, and my character uh, Roger Enrico, who was really the head of PepsiCo, who that owned Frito Lay, he too actually came from modest beginnings. Was from a small town in Minnesota, um, and you know became this very very powerful figure in the corporate world, and he took he took um, Richard Montañez's ideas and supported him and 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 turned it into this huge success so i don't know there's something about that whole kind of uh, you know you know uh, up from the bootstraps right. makes good american dream story that appealed to me very entertaining script very inspiring and very funny and directed by eva longoria what was that like to work with her amazing her first movie her, her first her directorial debut right. and uh you know i came into the project i, I think my sh filming was in the last week and um it was a well-oiled machine the crew the cast were devoted to her and would have done anything for her and um i i just found her just so on top of on top of the situation really really uh prepared with a real vision but also giving us freedom to kind of you know, to play and to discover as we were filming. Now, had you ever had a Flaming Hot Cheeto before the movie? Oh, absolutely. And you, you're a fan. I, I love spicy foods in general, <laughs> and um, and I do like Flaming Hot Cheetos. But um, it was fun. Uh, play, my character uh, plays this guy who he gets sent samples of it and gets to taste it, you know, for the first time. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was sort of interesting having a kind of game-changing experience uh, for, for this character. If, By the way, I just want to, for the record, not my real hair. Okay? Oh, Is that okay. Obvious, all right. I think I, that's for I real. thought it looked like a wig. It was the I, hair that I know. really, <laughs> <laughs> I always dreamed of having, <laughs> but never I did love get. your curls, actually. Well, thank you. Uh, so let's go to your character, Abe, from The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Are you surprised how it concluded for him? Well, not really. I mean, I'm. The writers always surprised us and never disappointed us, but Abe's whole arc over the five seasons was uh, it was incredible. You know, from where he started as a as a as a father, as a professional, um, uh, you know, a, a math professor at Columbia, to where he ended up uh, in his relationship with his wife, in his relationship with his children, um, it, you know, as a man moving from out of the fifties into the sixties in that whole cultural shift. I, uh, I, it was a very satisfying ending for, for all the characters, but for me especially, working on Abe. Real hair in that one. Absolutely real hair <laughs> and real mustache most of the time. Last time you were here, uh, you talked about you know, how people were discussing maybe a reboot of Monk. Any update for fans? We just wrapped, actually, we did a, a one-off, a film for streaming for Peacock. Okay. Um, we uh, just filmed... Um, finished filming and it's uh you know going to be a 90 minute 100 minute film and it's revisiting this character after 14 years because that's how long it's been since we wow. wrapped the series but um uh it's revisiting this character you know with COVID in the mix and uh how that impacted him and the world around him now sag after just voted uh to authorize a strike if negotiations don't go their way can right. you share with us how you voted there i absolutely supported uh yeah the the um the ratification i i just you know the 
The WGA is out now. Mm -hmm. The DGA is coming up. I think yeah. they're, in, they're in negotiations as we speak. And SAG after is coming up soon. So, um, you know, it doesn't mean we're going to strike, of course, but it does give our fearless leaders, um, you know, uh, a little more clout as they're going into these talks. So we're keeping our fingers crossed and hope everybody does the right thing. We are all keeping our fingers crossed. We thank you so much for coming by. Really thank appreciate you. having you. We want our viewers to know that you can watch Flamin' Hot on Hulu and Disney Plus on June 9th. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.